the dolls. <laughs> it's the dolls. The dolls. Oh, the dolls. It's the dolls. All right, let me take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, this is a long one. Get so comfy, I'm not kidding. If you're deranged like me and really love spooky things and to terrify yourself, um, this is the right place because I really wanted to do a spooky episode for Halloween. And originally I thought I was just gonna do it with Avery, right? Because like, I believe in ghosts wholeheartedly, but Avery does not. And I thought that would be like an interesting conversation. Um, but then I was literally scrolling on TikTok and I saw this video of this woman who was lives in the Appalachia Trail and like had things yell at her and things follow her. And I was like, oh, that's so spooky. What are the, what are the chances that's near me? And I contacted her literally yesterday and she's like, hey, I can come to your house. And I said, yeah, complete stranger. Here's my address. Let's <laughs> hang out. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> Hi, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I'm happy to. Thanks for trusting that I wasn't a dangerous serial killer either. I'm still scared of it. That, you know what, that's fair. <laughs> that, I, I do like spooky things and I do love to terrify myself. That's a fair concern. To be fair, you also <laughs> didn't know that I wasn't. I assume, I'm, see, my husband likes to say I assume the best in people even when I shouldn't. So I just assumed <laughs> I'm like that people pleaser that's like, oh, Mr. Serial Killer, I'm sorry that my blood's making a mess. I'll try to I'll try to contain that for you. <laughs> I knew you were safe when I walked into your house and you were like, cinnamon rolls, would you like one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well Avery made them for you, but then we just forgot to put them in the oven. But it's okay. <laughs> so you you live on the Appalachia Trail. Close and I, by, yeah. And I hear that it's very haunted. I don't actually know the backstory for that. And it's so funny because I know there's gonna be people in the comments that are like, you are a history teacher. So that doesn't mean we teach about every single aspect of everything. Like I became, I don't want to say an expert because like you're never too old to learn something mm -hmm. new even when you study something for hours and hours and hours. But I was pretty well versed in like what I had to teach. Yeah. But there's so much of history that I, that was not in the standards and that I don't know and that I would love to learn. So like I don't know the background of why Appalachia is so haunted. Yeah. Um, but I would love to hear like, the things that you experienced, I'm ready to be scared. Oh, I got you. And I'm like already like, nothing is welcome in my house. We do I not... already brought it in. No, so. we do not accept <laughs> these vibes. They're not welcome. They must leave. <laughs> you don't have the windows shut. You can't say that. Just have no, the windows they, the, shut. The door, they're, they're, the door's over there. <laughs> and then just go, goodbye. I believe in ghosts wholeheartedly. Yeah. My husband does not. Avery doesn't in the slightest bit. The Halloween Grinch. I'm, I'm, he, he is the Halloween Grinch. Um, so I'm ready for you to convince him. And I know that there's going to be viewers out there that are like, this is utter bull crap. And that's yeah. okay. You can just enjoy the nice little campfire stories. Yeah. 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 Go yeah. Ahead, if you Morgan. believe in them, it's fine. Yeah. Just take it. It's a fun story. It's a fun, this, fun yeah. little story on your drive to work. That's okay. Yeah. Um, no, so I grew up on a very haunted farm. Had a pretty dark history. Really? Morning. It's kind of dark. Okay. But, um, the family that lived there before my grandfather bought it, um, it was you know, a long time ago, medicine was not advanced, and their little boy started foaming at the mouth, acting not really like himself. Oh, no. Yeah. So their brain didn't go to rabies, which is, of course, what it was. Oh. And they went to demonic possession. So I guess they didn't really know how to combat that, so they chained him to the bed, and oh. that is where he died. So, yeah. And then later oh, on, poor baby. his old bedroom, actually, my great aunt passed later in there as well, in that house. The house is completely abandoned now. They're actually about to tear it down because it's, I mean, it's falling apart. Right. But, um, yeah. So, the whole vibes there are already not good. Just the whole land. I don't know what else happened on that land, but I've never known of someone to step foot on there and not experience something. Really? Like, never. Like, I don't think my husband, I don't even think he experienced anything weird until he st started staying around me. That just the vibes are not good. Wow. Yeah. It's, okay. So, like, what kind of things have you, like, experienced on it, it, in this area? Yeah. So, I am, actually have a really creepy story that happened kind of recently. Okay. I'm ready. So, I, my great-grandparents, I have no idea what they looked like. I don't know how that slipped past my radar. Never seen a picture of them. But um, I was up at that barn with my friends because we have this little projector. And I put it on the side of the barn to just, like, show scary movies right. and terrify people because I'm the worst. Yeah. Like, yeah I, I just yeah. do that. And um, I was getting something out of the barn and I just like saw this like misty figure and it looked like this woman, she had her like hair in a bun 
an old dress. Like it looked the classic like ghost that you would see, you know? So I'm talking to my dad later and I was describing her face because I just like tell him the stuff I see. And he just kind of gets really quiet and he gets up and walks to the other room and he comes out with this picture and he's like, is this what you saw? And it was her. It was exactly what I saw. It was my great grandmother. I just never oh seen a picture gosh. of her. Oh Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was actually going to save this story for later. Mm -hmm. um, and this is like, this is one of the reasons that I wholeheartedly believe in ghosts. Mm -hmm. 100%. Um, and this isn't in like a scary spooky story, but it's like things go bump in the night, <laughs> uh -huh. you know? So when I was younger, my great, both I was alive when both my great grandparents mm -hmm. were, or both my great grandmothers on each side were around. And um, my mom always told me about a situation where one night I was very little, around three, four in the morning, she just shot up and felt something. And it wasn't like a scary, spooky something, yeah. it was like a comforting presence, a familiar presence. Mm -hmm. And she just randomly blurted out like i can't remember if it, which grandmother it was but i'm just gonna go with mariah and um which is my great grandmother's name yeah. and as soon as she called out her name because it just felt so familiar like her it just immediately went away and then the next Aww. morning she found out that at the time that she woke up my great grandmother passed she Aww. was saying goodbye i know like i at first like when i first heard it i was like Okay, mom. But then, literally a few years later, one of my best friends, she's been, at this point, she's been one of my best friends for 20 years, mm -hmm. had a very similar experience when she was very young, very little. She woke up in the middle of the night screaming her head off because there was a man in her room. Yikes. And her dad obviously came in like ready to go, <laughs> ready to protect his little girl, but there was no one there. Come to find oh. out the exact time that she woke up, her grandfather passed. Oh. Did she say, like, he was she familiar? Did, she just saw, uh, she just saw, so, like, it was dark. No. So she just saw someone just and got up. scared. That's valid, um, right, honestly. Right, right. Because she was maybe seven, eight yeah. years old. She was like, there's a man. Right, there's a man in my room. And her dad was ready, man. <laughs> he, Mr. Tom was like on it. He said, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> like, he's, he's such a good dad. We love him. We love Mr. Tom. Um, but like hearing both of those and like my mom never told that to Anna. Anna never told that to my mom. Like oh, I was like, crazy. whoa, that's wild. Yeah. And that was like, not the craziest thing I've seen, but that was my first step to like, I think like, yeah. I believe in ghosts. Like that's too big of a coincidence. Right. You know? And yeah. I know that there are some people that don't, and that's okay. Like yeah. everyone has like their own things. And like, I know Avery, Avery has like a very religious like background yeah. of like why he doesn't believe in me. And that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to give him crap for not believing in ghosts. I'm still going to believe in them. Yeah. And that's okay. Um, but I want to hear more about what you experienced the dolls. <laughs> it's the, do the dolls. Oh, dolls. It's the dolls. The dolls. All right, let me take a deep breath. <laughs> All right, this is a long one. Get so comfy. I'm not kidding. So okay, I'm ready. Um, okay, I went up to that house where the little boy was chained to the bed because it's falling apart, and I wanted a medicine cabinet out of that house. My my family's always seen weird stuff. Okay, and I I don't know if it's that land or if my blood's just weird with that. I don't know. But um, there's this medicine cabinet that used to hang in the kitchen of that house. And my grandfather saw this woman in the mirror. And later on, my dad also saw her. And I have seen her. And I just wanted that medicine cabinet. I was right. like, I'm going to go venture into this house that is decaying. And I'm going to get this medicine cabinet. So me and my husband go in there. And we're just, I've been in there before. I kind of know what's in there. But I open up this little door under the stairs. And there's just this mound of freaking porcelain dolls. Just mound mm -hmm. one of them was broken but they were in fine condition others than that like it was weird and so i took them why you know i know, you know. I, know. Oh, <laughs> I know i know i know my thought process was oh my god these are our relatives and they're gonna get destroyed when they tear the house down because no one else was going in there and so i took them to my parents house which is down the road and my dad was like i don't know what those dolls are i've never you would seen die first them. in a horror movie You may, you're the one that makes the bad decisions. I know. <laughs> but, but, um, 
No, he did. He called like other relatives. He were he was like, "Where'd these dolls come from?" No one knew. So I was like, "Maybe I'm supposed to save the dolls." Like I'm, I know, <laughs> I know. It was. Did they a, tell you that? <laughs> no, they were like, "Take them back." <laughs> but um, no, I was like, "Maybe I'm supposed to just keep these dolls safe." So I take them in my little mirror, and I put them beside of our dryer, like underneath our stairs, right? So paranormal activity just amps up worse. Like it's so bad in our house. Like what, like what? So I would see just shadows everywhere. I would hear stuff. I've always just like heard stuff from the woods behind our house. It got worse, it was in the house. I see this thing that looks like my husband. It was worse, like it was so much worse. And then our house caught on fire. The water heater behind the dolls caught on fire. And I didn't, at that point, I wasn't thinking about the dolls. Like, it's like, okay, things happen. Like, what's happen. happening? Yeah. Things Is that, happen. like, normal? I don't know. I like, so... you you weren't, like, concerned? Like, no, I know. Well, see, <laughs> the, water, the water heater was old, so I was like, ah, my landlord stinks. Why is this water <laughs> so old? <laughs> you are the main character in a horror movie. Oh, my gosh. Like, it's, it's not even bad. <laughs> So that happens. We don't sleep for like two weeks because there was a house fire. <laughs> like, so we carry on. I think it's like a month later. And the water valve beside of our new, now new water heater fires off and floods our house. So right behind these dolls. So there's like, I'm cleaning out the water, this inch of water in our downstairs. And I'm like, just a mid mop. I'm like, freaking dolls. <laughs> like I just stopped. I dropped the mop and I went and grabbed these dolls that are bone dry, by the way. Everything in my house was wet. This bag that held these dolls and the dolls, dry. Completely dry. Completely dry. And I took them on my back porch and I just like tossed them in our deep freezer that's not plugged up. And that's where they are now because I don't know what to do. So on I'll... fire, man. I know. Like, you need to destroy <laughs> those things. I know. And I had people reach out to me and they're like, don't destroy them. It's just going to destroy the vessel. And I was like, oh, what do you mean what the is... vessel? <laughs> oh, I was like, what thing. in the conjuring are you talking about? Because they were like, whatever's attached to them, you know where it's at now. But if you destroy that, you don't. And I was like... <laughs> okay, so you can never open that little freezer thing. I know. Again. I don't know what to do. Someone was like, take them back to the land and bury it. But I'm worried that'll hurt the earth. And I don't know what to do with them. So they're they're just there. I, I don't know. And like but things have calmed down ever since you got them out of the house? This second, like the energy just lifted. Like stuff still happens, obviously. But nothing like that. That's it's, crazy. Yeah. No, it's crazy. That's so scary. It's awful. <laughs> but like a house fire and a flood, I was like, there's no way. That doesn't happen to a single person, like within a month. That's no, not a thing. That's wild. Yeah. That's so unexplainable. Yeah. No, it's, it's awful. And now I like, I went to like, because I wanted to post a video of them. And I like went to edit the footage and I was like, ugh. <laughs> trying to look at them. And I was like, God. See, my... My mom has um, this whole collection of porcelain dolls in her house, and I hate them. Oh, I absolutely God. hate everything about them. And they're like in the, I, I, are they still there, Avery? Are they still there? I actually, I'll have to look today. Like, you know when something's like there for so long, you don't actually notice? And now you're going to be even more scared that you're going to look at them and be like. See, but like, <laughs> my mom has had them her whole life. Uh-huh. So like, she's had them, she's been collecting them since she was a kid. So like. It's so weird because like, I, f I feel like I have seen weird stuff, but I don't think it has anything to do with those dolls because... But it could. I don't... I really see... I 100% believe in ghosts. I don't think it was the dolls because they've been in our house like forever yeah. and they still are there, I believe. Yeah. No, I can't remember if she took them down. I think they're still there. I'm pretty positive they're still there. And like I have seen weird things at our house but it just doesn't make sense for it to be the dolls. Yeah. You know what I mean? It could be anything, really. So, like, I've, I've experienced two really creepy things that I've never been able to explain. Ooh. And I, I would love for someone to, like, hear this and tell me what it was. And like, give, give me, like, a logical explanation yeah. other than ghosties were visiting you. Because, you know, because, like, I don't want to be scared. Yeah. I don't, I don't want anything that, like, we do not claim unpleasant energy <laughs> and we're, you know... But so here, here are the two things. So first of all, growing up, I, I loved horror movies. Like when I tell you mm. that I would start at midnight and watch horror movie after horror movie on Netflix until three in the morning at like 13, 14, 15 years old, because I loved to scare myself. Um, and one day when I was, I don't know if I was in high school or middle school, 
but I was waiting for my mom to get out of the shower and drive me to school. And I was sitting on the couch, literally backpack on, just kind of scrolling on my phone. It had to have been high school, because I don't think I had a phone in middle school. And my cat at the time, her name was Tinkerbell. Um, she lived oh. to be 17 years old. Bless her heart, I miss her every day. Um, but she wasn't a talker. Like my cats now are talkers. Tinkerbell meowed and was looking at a Lazy Susan that was on the counter. Like, you know those little, like the little Lazy yeah. Susans that turn? Yeah. She was looking at it and she meowed once and was just looking at it. And I looked up and I saw it make one full circle. Ugh. And I just instantly froze, dropped my phone, started crying, <laughs> and ran up the store and was like, Mom! <laughs> and she's like, no, it was probably the air conditioner. I'm like, one full circle? Mm. One full circle? What? Mm. The cat doesn't yell at the air conditioner every day? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I want, I want an actual logical explanation. Did it happen any after that? Like, ever? Not that I noticed. Well, so, and there was a time when I was a teenager where when I was downstairs, because most of our downstairs in my mom's house, in my parents' house, is windows. There was a time Oof. where I genuinely felt watched. And when I was a kid, a lot of times, I just, like, it scared me that there was a person outside the windows. But, like, you know that feeling, like, that you just get when yeah. you know eyes are on you? I felt that Ew. at my mom's house during this time. And then the other incident that I experienced, it was either a few months before or a few months after. I can't remember. Um, but again, I always stayed up very late. My brother also stayed up very late. He's three years younger than me. And there was a time where I was up watching movies as I did. And I just heard my brother being so loud downstairs. Like, obviously, I think he was trying to get something to eat. I heard him messing with the utensils mm -hmm. or something. And I kind of tried to whisper yell down to him because um, the way our house was, we had the downstairs and we had stairs on one side and stairs on the other side. So where I was in the TV room upstairs, mm -hmm. there was a set of staircases down to the kitchen. And so I just tried to like whisper yell to him, hey, you're being too loud. Shut up. And he didn't <laughs> listen because as little brothers do. Mm -hmm. So I like got up to go downstairs to tell him to shut up. He's being too loud. He's going to wake up our parents. But he wasn't down there. And I was so confused, and I just stood there looking around. So I went up the other stairs, because the other stairs go right up to his bedroom, and his mm -hmm. door was shut. And I just opened it and peeked in, and he was fast asleep. Like, was out cold. And I even, like, tried calling out to him, and I was like, Ethan, Ethan, are you awake? Wake up. <laughs> like, I was like, did, did you just get into bed, or are you, like, sleep, sleep? But, like, are you awake at all? And, like, nothing. He was in he the was rim out. stage. <laughs> and I was like... Uh, and then I heard a loud bang in the room that I was just watching TV in, and my cat started freaking out, running zoomies, oh. like, and I just started sobbing. And then a few months later, like, nothing happened again. I stopped feeling like I was being watched. I never had another incident. Oh. Like nothing. And the dolls stayed. So they couldn't have been the dolls, yeah, you know? I don't know. But there was like a good few months where I was just, I was genuinely scared to be at home. Oh. Like I, I was terrified. And I don't think I ever even told my parents that for anyone that's like, oh, do your parents let you say that? Like, I don't <laughs> think I ever even told them this stuff. Cause I was like so afraid. I'm like, I sound crazy, you know? Oh, that's so scary. It though. was so scary. And I was like, what, 14 years old? Maybe, maybe 15 or 16. I don't know. I just love that your response was tears each time. <laughs> I was like, oh. It probably like saw you cry and was like, I can't haunt I can't, this house. No. She's too fragile. It's so funny because like in real life, when like people things happen, mm -hmm. my fight, fight or flight response is fight. <laughs> All the way. It really so, is. You just have like spotty senses for paranormal yeah, stuff. Yeah, when you cry. Paranormal stuff, I'm like, I can't, I can't do anything. I'm just, like, Ugh. I can't, I, <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't punch a ghost, man. Like, you can try, but I feel like you'll miss. Right, you know? like, it's, I'm gonna hurt myself. Like, I don't know what to do. I feel powerless. Dude, that's where the the way you said you felt watch from outside is icky. Yeah. Like, what if that was a person, dude? Like that's scary right. as well. Right. Like, and it could be even like you, I don't know. Like all windows. Why do people do that? And it, it, it was 
so like the way that my parents house is is like the living room has three windows and then the dining room has two windows so it's not like the entire wall but it's like it's enough it's enough but yeah. is it like covered I have curtains there are uh, there are blinds there's um, a lot of people never have curtains and i'm like we need to put up curtains. You do. Yeah. I walked in there and I was like, this place is a fishbowl. <laughs> well, like, I told you, I warned you when you got here. I'm like, we don't have much set up in our house. Because we moved in and then we just, like, keep traveling. <laughs> You're taking your time. It's your space. It's yeah. Fine. I also don't know how to decorate. So I'm, like, waiting That's for so someone valid. to give me instructions. I'm, like, waiting for someone to be like, Rebecca, here's what you need to do. And I'll be like, okay, <laughs> and I'll do it the next week. I just don't know. <laughs> But there's something that you said that I have so many questions about. Oh, no. <laughs> you said that you saw something that looked like your husband. I do. I need you to elaborate on that. So, what does that mean? I never knew what it was. Apparently, it's this whole entity. It has oh. a whole name that it just attaches to people. It's called a mimic. Oh. But, like, I heard that and I was like, isn't that in, like, a video game? Like, the word mimic? But yeah. no. I don't know either. But, um, <laughs> but, um, apparently it's this thing. It, like... There's different theories on why it does what it does, but it attaches to a person and it's like, I'm going to gain your trust by copying someone that you trust. And that's just what they do. And there's a theory that they can't really get the face right. And I've never seen this thing's face ever. It's always its back. And I've called but it But you've on, seen it. I've caught it on camera. Really? Yeah. No, it's on my TikTok like several times. He usually wears a red flannel. It's uh -huh. always wearing a red flannel. Uh -huh. I think once it was wearing the black one because he changed flannels. <laughs> always copies. And you've caught it on camera with like your husband uh, yeah, somewhere uh, else. So at the, this um, last time with the dolls, when I was filming the dolls, you can see it behind me when I was walking to the dolls. And at the same time, my husband was out on the front porch of that house trying to just like get pictures and stuff of the house. And he's filming and you can see me walk by inside. Like you can tell that he wasn't in there. Like you can watch me film on my phone and walk by. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And, but he was behind, he was behind me. I'm sweating. It's bad. No, so, it's like, so what, bad. Is, what is, like, it's, like, talk to you? Yeah. No, I've heard it. It, like, it kind of sounds almost right. But something's off. But it was right enough that I, like, had a full conversation. Like, I was like, is my, do I have a gas leak right now? Like, am I losing my mind? But, no, I mean. Is that the thing that yelled hey at you? In I, the... I don't know. So, like, the, the video that I first saw of you mm -hmm. on, on TikTok was when you were literally just, like, walking in the woods yeah. And then, like, you're just literally just talking to the camera. I can't even remember what you're talking about. You're yeah. just casually talking. And then all of a sudden you hear in the background, hey! And yeah. you literally just, like, stopped. Yeah. No, I don't know. I will say the first time I captured that thing on camera was the second time I tried to film that video in that spot. So it could have been. But um, I know in the Appalachian Mountains, hearing that exact hey is pretty common. I don't know if that's ravens or some Do sort of bird. Do ravens sound like that? They can, if you train them. Yeah, but... They they don't really sound exactly like I listened because people were commenting on my video. They were like, that's a raven. And I looked it up and it just didn't really sound exactly hold like on, hold that. On. I'm going to look this up right yeah, now. It's creepy. YouTube <laughs> real quick. I need to know. It is creepy. Raven. Hey. Mischief, can you say hello? Hello. Good. <laughs> that's too low pitched. They've sounded higher, but it's just. Can you say mm. hi? Hi. Good job. Oh, it's yeah. So it's like possible. It's very possible. But what, don't what they have to be trained? Yeah, you would think, unless it's just some just like farmer out there being like, ha ha ha. You know, <laughs> training all the right. <laughs> there are people that do that though. I guess that would actually make sense because if you're choosing to live in the middle of the woods, yeah, and you don't want people around, exactly. I yeah. would. I can see Avery doing that, like training birds. I can see him to doing that in the city, honestly. Yeah, I can see people training birds yeah. to like keep people away. That makes sense. Yeah, and like I believe in ghosts, and that's still like I'm. Yeah. I might believe me in, wrong. Right. Like, I don't. Yeah. I I might believe in ghosts, but if something happens, yeah. and I'm like, oh, it's spooky, and you're like, no, 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 here's a logical explanation. Yeah. That makes sense to me. It's, I'm not gonna insist. There's no way. Yeah. You know what Even I mean? If it is a bird, that's scary. Don't talk to yeah. me. You're a bird. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't love birds, but I I don't know if I like went into the forest and I knew it was a bird, just like yeah, moving around, I'd be like. Hey! Yeah. How you doing? But, like, you don't know. And you that's don't know. Scary. Yeah, no. And, like, as far as the, like, lore goes in Appalachia, you're never supposed to answer. So it's like, yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, you alert whatever's calling you to your direct location. And you let it know that it heard you. So now it is, it's fun for it to hunt you. 
Oh, that's so scary. It's so scary. Oh, it's that's so scary. Terrifying. Yeah, that's why you're also never supposed to whistle in the woods. Whistling's like in a lot of different cultures bad. It can call bad spirits to you, bring you bad luck. But yeah, in like this area, it's supposed to call whatever this is to you. Oh, that's so upsetting because that's how I call my cats for Don't treats. do that ever. Just don't do oh. that. <laughs> I literally, well, like, I, I don't actually know how to whistle very well. So it sounds more like. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Imagine just being the thing in the woods and hearing that. You're like. <laughs> so what? like but my cat <laughs> i do it so much that the cats literally know that sounds <laughs> me just like tree the pity run it's like it's just <laughs> trying your best so oh now i'm like just you avery you're not allowed to whistle anywhere anymore avery likes to quote this madagascar line all the time have you seen that movie oh god yeah. he's like i'm gonna be a professional whistler <laughs> i'm already pretty good but i want to get even better <laughs> <laughs> See, I do those movies too, but mine's like the cat in the hat. <laughs> like, oh, see, I I either want to watch like, I either want to watch like the Yellowstone, the drama, the greys, like adrenaline, 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 but I have like a whole group of friends. If we get together, we're watching some spooky stuff. Like I have a whole bunch of friends that like, we're like, okay, what weekend are we making the blanket forts? Are we getting together? And we're just gonna terrify ourselves. Well, how do I infiltrate this friend group? Because I yeah. have so many movies. Come drive, come drive, 100%. Come whenever you wanna hang out. Yeah. What is the movie that scared you the most? Like the one that got okay. in your skin the most? The Nun. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I... And now, okay, it's so funny because like, I also had a moment that really struck me to my core. And it, it's not scary, but at the time it was. Uh huh. So, I had just watched The Nun. My friend Tiffany and I used to do, like, The Conjuring was our stuff. Whenever a new one yeah. came out, like, we would go see it. And our the first house Avery and I moved into together, the lights were not that great. Like, it, the lights were just dim. It was an older, a little bit of an mm -hmm. older house, so the lights were just dim in general. Um, so after we watched The Nun, I came home. Avery was out with some of his friends. So I was completely by myself. It was dead silent. Now... Our cats are indoor cats, mm -hmm. but sometimes we like the most outside they could go at this house. We didn't have a screened in porch like we do now. They like to sit in the garage and Avery didn't warn me that he let the cats into the garage and we would always crack the door uh -huh. so that if they want to come back in, they could. So I guess they just hung out in the garage until they heard me come uh -huh. home. So I'm sitting in the living room. I just saw the nun. And I'm just sitting there, and out of the corner of my eye, I just see the garage door. And I just start crying again. Sobbing. And literally in my head, I was like, oh my god, this is it. I'm going to die. Like, I, this is it for me. I literally, like, I genuinely thought my life was about to be over. And then you just see Milo do it. I love that your brain went to, like, the nun, not, like, someone broke into your house. You're like, the demon is scared. Do it for the conjuring god. <laughs> it's, it's always that movie. Because even when the next con the next conjuring after the nun came out, mm -hmm. <laughs> these cats are gonna kill me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, we moved into our a, a, a different house. Mm -hmm. Um, so the lights were better. <laughs> um, and the new conjuring preview was coming out so i called my friend tiffany and i was like oh we need to catch up on all the lore mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go watch like a summary of everything that's happened so when the new one comes out like we're ready like we're ready to go watch it and as i'm watching it we had just moved into this house so like avery was doing all the blinds and mm -hmm. like all the handiwork that you put into like a brand new house because we got a new construction and in the middle of me watching this this uh recap lore of the conjuring i hear what sounds like his uh the electric drill start turning <laughs> and i literally like in my brain i'm like i'm sorry and i just like turned it off and i was like i'm sorry i won't watch anymore i'm so sorry please don't hurt me i'm so sorry and i just start like i freeze and avery's upstairs playing video games and i just start calling him i'm like avery I'm so afraid. Um, what it was was we got an automatic cat feeder. <laughs> and at a certain 
concert and saw him every night. It just rotates. <laughs> 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 There's a logical explanation. Like, I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah, that makes so much sense. Just the thought of you being like, sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset anything. I don't want any trouble. I just didn't apologize. In your own house. Like, it's a new house. I don't know what they built on. Like, you never know, you know? Like, there's woods behind our backyard. Like, I don't know. I don't want to upset anything. I don't want any trouble. But yeah, I get, in case you haven't noticed, I love to be scared, but I get scared really easily. <laughs> so when I tell you that Avery, when we go to haunted houses, he antagonizes the people working there and I'm the one that loses every day time. You're brave for even going. I won't. Oh, because I, 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 I love the thrill. That's fair. I will keep scaring myself. <laughs> Hands down. Did I stop watching Conjuring movies? No. That's fair. I didn't. Do I like, you know what I do every day? If, and I know everyone does this to some extent. You can't lie to me. Like <laughs> when you turn your light off before you go to bed and you just kind of like leap into your bed. Oh, yeah. So that nothing, nothing no. grabs your ankle. No, I make my husband do it. <laughs> oh, we yeah. get out of bed. Or, no, I've now put our, our lights on Alexa. Um, so oh, I can that's just a good say, idea. like, Alexa, good night. And I'm already safe in bed. In but we covers. were talking earlier about how scary it is going upstairs. Like, yeah, <laughs> yes. Literally, every time, anytime I go, I turn out the lights and I go up the stairs in the middle of the night, I go, will literally walk up the scare, stairs like, God's here, man. God loves me. So you nothing can, that white light Nothing can you. get me now. Like, I'm here, safe and sound in this house. <laughs> Do you ever try to act like you're not scared, too? You're just like... <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, scared. if I don't look scared, they yeah. won't think I, they can't read my brain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They don't know what's up in there. <laughs> Absolutely not. There's nothing scarier to me, though, than when, like, I'm safe and sound in my bed, under the blankets, in my covers. And, you know, my cat comes, and I told you, Milo sleeps with me every night. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, his head whips around, he just looks at something on the ceiling. And I'm like, it's the worst. You stop that. <laughs> it's, like, stop. always a bug, but it's the worst. The, like, yes. Or, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. What are you looking at? Avery likes to say Milo sees ghosties. And I'm like, you need to not tell me that in the middle of the night. Cats do apparently like, he, say more things. Milo, literally, he'll just <laughs> whip his head around at things. And I'm like, you need to, you need to calm down, my guy. You ever like, try to get their attention? You're like, mm -mm. I'm like, hey, I'll like, I'll like pet him. And he like, he won't hear it. He's like focused. And I'm like, Ooh. I need you to calm down, my dude. Ooh. And like, we've been in this house for about a year. Nothing. And I'm keeping it that way. We, and then you invited me in. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing's staying here. No, 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 no. Nothing's staying here. Everything's going back with you. Nothing's welcome. I don't have time for house guests. I'm just going to call in the middle of the night. It's like, are you serious right well, now? I <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm ready. I'm like, going to go get some sage. I literally, I'm, I'm not kidding. After we set up and after I like just, you know, gave a stranger my address. Um, I literally then spent two hours Googling. If something, if someone has ghosts around her and she goes to a house, do they stay? <laughs> and I stood for two hours and I couldn't find anything. And I'm like, it must be fine. It must be fine. It's okay. <laughs> and then, so, <clears throat> um, Avery's mom passed a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Very religious woman. And literally all morning, all morning, I'm like, Lynn wouldn't let anything come in here. Lynn's watching over her son. She's not letting anything get in this house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like We're good. She wouldn't let any, that woman, absolutely not. Absolutely oh, yeah. not letting anything in here. Yeah, I'm good. Lynn, Lynn would hustle with some ghosties, let me tell you. Google search. Oh, I, I, literally, I don't even want to. <laughs> I Googled for like a good two hours. You really couldn't find anything? Nothing no. Came up? It literally, all that came up was like, here's seven signs that your house is haunted. That's it. And I'm like, clearly this isn't a problem for people, so it must be fine. Yeah. But let me tell you, when Lynn was alive, Favorite's mom. Um, she was a psych nurse. Ooh. She had some stories. I bet she Let did. me tell you. Um, she would tell me all the time about how she would just turn the corner and just feel eyes on her. And she always worked night shifts. Ooh. Yeah. Night shifts, um, psych ward. And she's like, you know, this would be a completely empty hall. And I would feel eyes on me. And it was the scariest thing. And like... Obviously, like, I'm a 
spooky horror kind of person like it doesn't have to just be paranormal yeah. like it can be like other things like yeah. serial killers i some <laughs> my mom would always give me so much crap because she's like you're watching criminal minds at night like i could never that's so scary i'm like this calms me <laughs> well, listen to true crime podcast yeah, yeah it's calming i don't know why yeah probably because we're a little deranged maybe it's fine i don't know i think i read something i don't know if you have anxiety or not oh yeah But um, I read something that people with anxiety, it like, it gives you a controlled environment to let it out. And that's why you love it so much. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that explanation other than like, I'm a psychopath. I I feel like I've watched enough true crime. It's like, I've watched enough Grey's Anatomy. I could be a surgeon. I've watched enough true crime. I could get away with murder. Maybe I shouldn't say that on air. (laughs) But I feel like every like basic white lady that is obsessed with true crime has a plan. You know, like that's a thing. That's an aesthetic. You know, you watch your true crime and your criminal minds and your horror stories and you have your murder plan. And, like, yeah. that's a thing. So, so we've both seen, like, spooky things, right? Mm-hmm. Some are explainable, like, logically. Some are just not. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. But are there any other stories that you've heard or come across that are just so spooky and perfect for Halloween season? Yes. Okay. 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 I, I oh, that face. I'm nervous. Yeah. This is, like, one of the only ones that's actually scared me. I'm scared of La Llorona. I don't... Okay. I, like, I'm terrified. I had this follower send me this story. Um, her dad lived in Mexico, and he was walking home drunk from, like, a local village one night, and he started hearing running water, and he was looking around. There was no running water. It was, like, no one was pouring anything out, and he said he cut through the corn maze to try and get to his house quicker. Not corn maze. Cornfield. Jesus Christ. Why would you ever go through a cornfield in the middle of the night? I know. He, All these people are the main characters in I horror know, movies. I know. And he, he was like, I need to get there quicker. So he just like cuts through the cornfield and he just like, the water keeps intensifying and he starts hearing like this crying and he just comes face to face with this woman that just has like no eyes. Like when I say no eyes, like veins, like the eyes were out, right? Just like open mouth, just crying. And he said he looked at her. You're not supposed to do that. So he was like, oh, and like looked away and walked towards his house. And he just kept hearing her behind him and he got inside. But like the image that they said their dad like portrayed it as is literally never left. It's never left my brain. I know. Well, like, first of all, why would you go to your house? <laughs> Uh, and this is where I live. What's your Hello, name? woman. He's mildly inebriated. He was like, you know, I just oh, need to get home. No. Oh but I gosh. feel like that sobered him right up. That would sober me right up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. But no, I just, I don't know, just the way. There are some images that just haunt you. Yeah. 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 I, I can't imagine seeing that. Mm-mm. Like, Mm-mm. I, I don't know. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. Well, I have a, uh, a milder story that someone, like, still spooky bump in the night, but mm-hmm. not like terrifying Not or anything the, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little mild. So, um, and speaking of Lynn, this actually took place in a hospital. Oh, um, okay. Late at night, there was a security guard that was you know, doing his rounds on the floor and he saw a surgeon who was like looking at the surgery board and was just kind of like writing stuff down, like studying it, taking notes. And as the security guard passed by him, he's like, oh, have a good night, sir. But the surgeon just completely ignored him. And he's like, oh, I can't. A little rude. <laughs> so he, uh, like, goes back to where he's supposed to be sitting and, like, watching just, like, the security cameras and things like that. And his buddy, who was sitting next to him, he's like, I just had, like, a really weird interaction with one of the sergeants. And the guy was like, oh, which one? He's like, I'm, I'm still a little new. I, I don't know what their names were. And he just kind of looks at him. He goes, oh, well, you just, I bet you just ran into Dr. So-and-so um, because the surgery wing is actually closed. There's not supposed to be anyone on these floors. Um, But there was a Mm. surgeon about a year ago who passed away at the hospital. um, And there had been people who had been, who had sighted him at the surgery board, just staring at, staring at it. And this security guard had no idea. He was brand new. Like he had never seen any, he'd never seen the guy before. He just was thinking like, wow, that was rude. This guy didn't respond back to me. But yeah, he the other security guard was like yeah there are no other surgeons here like there's there's no way you definitely people have been saying they saw his ghost you probably just definitely saw his ghost you just never left that's so sad and also scary oh no (laughs) that's so like who would pass and then spend the rest of their afterlife at work (laughs) unless they were trapped oh no how do you untrap 
that? Like, how does that... Do you know? I don't know. You can, like, try to lead them to the light, I think. If you can communicate with them, tell them to go to the light and stuff like that. But, yeah, I, it's sad. Oh, stuff I didn't even think trapped. about that. Oh, now I feel like a jerk. Oh. Now I feel like a rude no. jerk. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. I didn't think about that. Like, I don't why know. would you choose? Yeah, why would you choose to stay at work forever? It's valid. Why would you choose? <laughs> right? Because, um, like, I don't, like, I watch a lot of scary stuff, but I don't sit there and, like, research ghosts. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> now I feel like I'm a jerk. No. Do you have any other stories that really stuck out to you? I did have one recently that I read that was just... So I'm really big on imagery, like the image yeah. that I paint in my, yeah. So um, there was this one person, they had just moved into their house and there's just like this, there's this painting that they have in their room and like they put it up and they started having intense nightmares centered uh -huh. around a little girl just like losing her life in a bad, like bad ways. They, I'm not going to describe any of the dreams, but they were really bad. And um, she said she noticed that the little girl in the dreams was the girl in the painting that was on her bed oh no absolutely yeah absolutely not but it gets worse because then she started seeing this other little girl around her house didn't look like that little girl at all um this little girl like think of the grudge like black hair long black hair but her mouth was black yeah and like it's just open no and she no. um she kept seeing her out of her peripheral vision and one day she was like i need to get a good look at her and that's when she figured out what she like actually looked like and so she was like standing where she always saw her and she like looked and she always saw her in one spot of her house. So she walked away from that spot. She was like, I saw what I needed to see and was walking up her stairs and the little girl was just on the stairs, just like staring at her. And she was like, I don't know what to do with the painting. I don't know what to do. And I was like, can I have the painting? <laughs> what? You moved that into your house? No, she never responded, but I was like, can I have the painting? Why would you want it? <laughs> Oh my god! You are the main character of a horror movie! I know. I know. I did tell my husband that he was like... No! <laughs> was like, Please don't. No! No! <laughs> no, I don't know. That's terrible. What, what would you do with it? I want to help. Let's see if I can guide what? whatever. Whatever the thing is attached. What I if just, it's just evil? What if it's just bad? Like the dolls? Yeah. <laughs> it could be. Shove it back and shove it in there with the doll. I would. They could be buddies. No, I actually, I actually, I highly suggest that you don't open the no, chest with the dolls and you just get another ice chest. I'm probably just going to leave it there and like it's the next person's problem. But that's mean. Like, could you imagine renting a place and you're like, oh, deep freezer and then you open it? That's every just... horror movie that exists. Oh, yay. Look at this nice house that for some reason was so inexpensive. <laughs> can't nothing's wrong here freezer. look at this a surprise basement didn't know that was here what a treat <laughs> like no no <laughs> that's you you got the surprise basement and you're excited about it <laughs> <laughs> no i would be like oh nope not buying this house let me call my realtor Found so before we skedaddle before we move on Mm -hmm. um do you again you live near the Appalachia Trail mm -hmm. there's lots of things that go bump in the night spooky yeah. spooky do you have any do's or don'ts for people who are hiking because it's like a popular hiking area yeah, right it is do's and don'ts for that area for being safe yeah so a lot of hikers and I didn't know this until recently until I talked to a bunch of people that have hiked it a lot they have nicknames on the trail you're not a lot of people don't use the real names oh so that the things there don't know it and don't call you oh yeah they have like high connect names i didn't know that was a thing oh so maybe look into that that's scary <laughs> that scared me to death when they told me that i was that like so oh <laughs> okay yeah yeah yeah. because like you'll hear your name being called sometimes and it's like trying to get you in so ignore that um ignore get a nickname get a nickname my name is gertrude <laughs> That's always my go-to. That's fair. Susan. Call me Susan. <laughs> Susan. No, um, ignore whistling. Never whistle outside. Ignore it if you hear it. Um, if you see any animals or even trees that look weird, don't look at them for too long. Okay, I actually have a question. Yeah. I, 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 like, I see these videos all over the place, mm -hmm. and I don't know if they're real or not, but I still scare myself to death with them. Mm -hmm. What is a skinwalker? 
I, I, I don't know. <laughs> That's like on the other side of the country, apparently. Like, oh. it's like this side has like the Wendigos and the other side is Skinwalkers. It's like different regions, but um, they kind of can shape shift. Uh, so the ones that are here usually look like trees or deer, stuff like that. But the others okay. look like people. Is the way I've gathered it. I don't know. I'm really confused on that one. Like, I've got ours down. But, like, right. the other one, yeah, I get really confused. Yeah, um, I just be respectful outside. Um, keep in mind what time it is when you go somewhere. Because there's a lot of stories. Like, people will go into a familiar area in the woods at, like, noon. And then it's 8 p.m. And it's dark. Just like that. So, keep that in mind. Because they mess with you. So they'll, like, change the toms. And I feel the respectful thing so hard, like, respecting nature. Yeah. This is a complete side note, and I'm not going to tell the whole story. Like, I have it on my YouTube. But I actually got cursed in Hawaii because I didn't, I, I had never heard about Pele's curse before, and I had a seashell. Oh. And I didn't actually, I didn't take it out of the country, but I did take it from the beach. And I didn't know. And then like instantly. I'm going to throw up. (laughs) Instantly stuff started happening. It was crazy. Within two hours, there were like three or four things that happened or something like that. And my friend who's a local was like, no, 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 So we took it back and then everything stopped. And then I got sick. Like I got so sick. And there were 14 people on this trip. I was the only one that got sick. It was the most sick I'd ever been in my entire life. And I had West Nile fever. This was the most sick I had ever been. Dude, imagine if you'd taken it out of the... I can't... I'm... Oh, that's so scary. Mm, yeah. So, like, I don't, I'm not going to tell the whole story. It's on YouTube. Um, but, yeah, I, I... Be respectful of nature. That's so important, man. It's, it's a really good rule of thumb to just not pick up stuff. Well, it's something that you also don't think about. Like, yeah, you never... when you're... It's, it's so common to pick up pick seashells here. Yeah. You just don't think about it and then you like think about it and you're like oh yeah no, no that makes sense well I, stuff alone. I forgot where it was but it's like really sacred um in indigenous where what was it called twin sisters I, I don't know it's a really popular hiking spot and um one of my followers sisters picked up a rock and like something came back to get the rock from her house like stuff was like banging on her door and yeah you leave stuff alone yeah Uh it's a really good rule of thumb to just never leave nature alone yeah you don't need it that bad you're not gonna do anything with it it's gonna sit in your house you're gonna eventually throw it away just leave it alone yeah no that's like the number one thing i think is just be respectful like don't go outside and just like move stuff and you know whistle and try to be mean because yeah what do you okay last actual last thing because i ramble everyone knows here that i ramble (laughs) What, like, what about people that really just, like, don't believe in this stuff? Who are like, this is all horse crap, don't believe in it. Like, well, what would you say to anyone that just doesn't? Like, Avery. What would you say to Avery? I think these are all still good tips for, like, other stuff. You know, wildlife. Yeah, yeah I mean, l- we respect nature. We live, like, you know, not too far from each other. Wildlife's weird, you know? Yeah, you never know. Like, you don't want to go out there and just, like, start whistling. What if you call a mountain lion, you know? That's so true. <laughs> and, like, certain things, like... It's like ignore if you hear a woman screaming is a big one. That could be a mountain lion. So oh. we're, yeah. So you should ignore that regardless. Yeah. So literally all of those tips are just good to keep you safe with nature and people. You know. You I don't think that's all. fair. I think that's so valid. Yeah. I think that's so valid. So like if you don't believe it, that's well, fine. Yeah, story, that's all right. But like, you should still probably you know. Be, it's still there's still yeah. things out there that will eat you and that yeah. like you know like you look like a good snacky snack. Yeah. Like mountain lions are no joke and they scare me. So. <laughs> those are all fair tips i think that's really valid like even if you don't believe in ghosties which is fine like not everyone does and that's okay not everyone is psychotic like us you know or cool yeah (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. we're just really creative (laughs) we have really big imaginations um but that i think that's still so valid to like you know be safe yeah mountain lions and weird people yeah mountain lion like predators still exist in the yeah. woods just because they're not go even if they're not ghosties there's yeah. something like you're in their home yeah <laughs> like, you know. yeah yeah, yeah. It's like going to the ocean and like sharks, <gasps> oh, sharks. A shark <laughs> what are you doing here like no 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 this is where they live i hate it when people get mad they're like how could it do that it's like you're in their house you're- <laughs> <laughs> like what do you mean but thank you so much for yeah, out thank you. Today, I fun. I hope I, I scared you. Are you gonna think of it? Just gonna try to sleep tonight? See, and you're gonna be like, oh, I, I feel good. Like, yeah, yeah, I feel good. I mean, I love spooky stuff. So, like, I was preparing. Yeah, but I feel you're good. Just, like, I'm gearing yourself up. I, see, I think there. 
most of my content friends, like my friend Brenda, my friend Stove, they get scared so easily. So, mm-hmm. like, do I think that there are some people listening who are like, <gasps> they shouldn't listen to this? Yeah, but then are there like people like us who are like, this was nothing. This is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is just Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, and then I think there's other people that are like Avery that's like, bull crap. <laughs> Which is fine. Thank you guys so much yeah. for hanging out with us today, and I hope to see y'all next week. Bye, Bye. lovelies. Bye.